how to send a text message from Outlook. If you're wondering how to send a text message directly from Softsoft Outlook, you're about to learn a handy trick that can save you time and effort. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to know the phone number of the person you want to text and their cell phone carrier. This is crucial because each carrier has its own SMS gateway. For example, if the person uses AT&T, the SMS gateway would be txt.at.net, while for T-Mobile, it would be tml.net. To find the SMS gateway, you can look up the carrier's information online or use a carrier lookup service. If you're still unsure, you can ask the person to send a text to your email address. When you receive the text, it will show their full texting address. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Open a new email in Microsoft Outlook. In the To field, enter the 10-digit phone number followed by the at sign and the SMS gateway. For instance, if you're texting someone with a T-Mobile number, it would look like 261-234567 at tmomail.net. Next, add a subject to your message. Whatever you put in the subject field will appear in bold when the text message is received. Then, type your message in the body of the email. Keep in mind that standard text messages can only contain up to 160 characters. If your message is longer, some carriers might cut it short. Once you've written your message, click the Send button. The message will be sent to the carrier, which will then forward it as an SMS to the recipient's phone number. To make this process easier, you can set up a contact in Outlook specifically for texting. Go to the Contacts option, click on New Contact, and enter a unique name such as John Doe Text. Then enter the contact's text address and save it. This way, you can simply type the contact name in the To field whenever you want to send a text. If you need to send text messages to multiple people at once, you can create a contact group. Click the People Contacts icon, choose New Contact Group, and add the contacts you want to include. This method is useful but not intended for sending mass messages, so keep your group to no more than 40 members. Finally, if you want to receive text messages in response, they will arrive in your Outlook inbox. You can then continue the conversation directly from your email client. By following these steps, you can seamlessly send and receive text messages right from within Microsoft Outlook, making communication a lot more convenient.